Since taking power in 1949, the Communist Party has become a highly totalitarian one-party dictatorship. One perspective, one belief. Everyone must follow that. Up until the present time, it's carried out more than 50 persecution campaigns. The Cultural Revolution is one example. The persecution of Falun Gong is another example. Another example is what happened in 1989. Early on the morning of June 4, 1989, thousands of Chinese troops rushed into Tiananmen Square in Beijing. The communist government brutally crushed a ragtag band of students, peasants and factory workers. Some lost their lives when armored personnel carriers and troop trucks simply ran over them. Communism, their doctrine is based on killing, killing to scare people, to, to make fears and keep the ruling. This week marks the anniversary of the Tiananmen Square Massacre. That clip you just saw was from our upcoming movie, Finding Courage, which tells the true story of one family who dared to be free. But for us to understand their story, like most stories in China today, we had to come to understand a criminal mindset, the criminal operations of the Chinese Communist Party, the ruling regime in China. And what type of criminal mind would it take to kill its own youth? Well, it's the same criminal regime that today is brutally attacking pro-democracy students in Hong Kong after the peaceful umbrella movement last year, and since then making thousands of them disappear. And just as of last week, the Chinese regime has enacted a law they can use to justify arresting, imprisoning, and even possibly executing the last hope of Hong Kong's freedom, their youth. And how does the Chinese regime justify such killing and abuse? Well, in our research, we found that in a warped criminal communist system, they feel elite and completely justified. And they will do anything anything to achieve their idea of peace. We found this interesting piece of footage which never made it into Finding Courage. It is of a press conference soon after the Tiananmen Square massacre where Jiang Zemin, the official who supported killing the students and then used that to rise to power and become the next dictator, what he says in the press conference showed us just how a criminal communist mind justifies mass slaughter. The question which uh, many Chinese are still asking themselves. The Tiananmen tragedy could have been avoided, and how? Tiananmen是一场反对我们共产党的领导，要推翻我们社会主义制度的一场反革命暴乱。Jiang Zemin is also responsible for ordering the persecution of the peaceful Falun Gong spiritual group. Sorry, not persecution. Technically, he ordered an eradication campaign against them. Does that sound somewhat like Nazi Germany? Well, it's not too far from that. So after killing the students in 1989, what else did the communist regime do publicly to justify it? Well, they did what they have always done. They covered the truth with lies. They arrested more students and publicly humiliated them on national media to make everyone else afraid. Then the regime forced everyone who had helped the students to undergo intensive political re-education. And then they put on a big show and made everyone watch it nationally. This makes me shudder. They held a memorial for show not for the thousands of students they killed, but for a few soldiers who had died on the square. And they laid all the blame for everything on the students. And who did they use to carry out the show memorial? Children, young children who didn't know anything other than what the regime has told them from birth. There is no mention of the Tiananmen Square massacre in Chinese schools. China's youth are denied the right to know their history and ancestors, and they have been filled with a communist criminal culture. This is how the Chinese Communist Party has run for 70 years, and although technology may have changed, its political system hasn't. 
We can see that today in Hong Kong. There are millions and millions of innocent people the Chinese regime has killed and has never been held accountable for. And there are still more millions of human beings that communist and socialist regimes have killed and continue to terrorize worldwide without being held accountable as yet. We hope that they will be held accountable for their crimes and until then, we must defend our own liberties and support others trying to do the same. Thank you for watching and thank you for not turning a blind eye. Please subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for the release of our new movie, Finding Courage. Until then, stay well and stay safe.